Hello guys, my name is the Weird Squid and welcome to Satisfactory. This is a tutorial and today I'm going to be showing you how to get super quick and super easy conveyor belt uh, travel for items. So here I've set up a little system uh, to showcase this tutorial and the basis of it is that you use storage containers as well as conveyor belts to not only save tons of resources, but make the item travel so much quicker. So here I've set up a little system. I'm going to put two items into this uh, storage container here. It will split it, and I've actually given this conveyor belt here a bonus uh, for pretty much everything. It's actually a shorter distance because it wraps around the inside. It has a shorter conveyor belt leading into it, whereas this one does not. But you will see that this system right here with the storage containers is still much, much, much faster. So let's go ahead and try this out. And here we go. So you'll notice that one is going and that one has now just entered the system and you can see that it was already going much faster. And so now we will wait. As you can see, this was much, much, much faster than this, which is not even halfway there yet. And again, it's way, way, way cheaper. I used a pro uh, exactly 38 steel beams creating this setup, storage containers, and about 200 creating this inside track. Okay, I've gone ahead and created a separate platform right here so that we can build our system and I can show you how to do it. So first, you want to place down a storage container in the direction that you're going. Then, you hold down control and continue to walk down the line placing storage containers as you go. Okay, I have now built all the storage containers down in the line, as you can see. And now we are going to go ahead and hook up the conveyor belt Mark 3s. So, all you need to do is basically just go down the line and double click. Alright, I have finished the system. That's really all you need to do. Now, if we go ahead and put, say, 200 iron rods in, and we walk down, you can see that they are actually very quickly transferring between containers. These storage containers don't actually have a cap on how fast or how many items they can transfer per minute. So that means that no matter what type of conveyor belt you're using, it will still transfer the maximum of that conveyor belt type. And it looks like all of our rods have just finished going through. So if we run down to the bottom, we should now see 200 iron rods in here. Yep, and that was incredibly quick. quick. And it saved us a lot of resources. I only had to use about 30 plates. So that is incredibly helpful. As you can see, that system saved us a ton of transfer time for the items and also a ton of resources. It did use up a bunch of iron and iron rods. However, we've only used about 35 steel plates, which I think is pretty impressive. So that's going to conclude this video, guys. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you did like the video, please give it a like. If you want to see more like this, I will leave a poll on the screen right here. If you want to see more tutorials for my channel, thank you for watching. Peace out.